book nerds. I'm Victoria from Team Underlined, and I'm here with Alex. Hello. <laughs> Who many of you probably follow at Alexandria Eng. Thank you so much for coming in to chat with me today. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So as part of Team Underlined's Behind the Bookstagram series, I'm going to ask you some hard hitting bookish questions. Think you're up for it? I'm ready. Yes, yes. let's go. First, I'm dying to talk about your gorgeous Instagram aesthetic. Mm -hmm. If you could describe it in three words. Three words, okay. Creative, okay. for sure. Colorful, I love color. And then me, because most of my pictures have my face in it. Yes. That's mostly so people don't steal the photos, but also because I just like putting my personality into the photos. Wow, bookstagram tip right there. Put, <laughs> Put your face in, in the your photos. photos. So no one can take your photos, but yeah. <laughs> so this one, I'm very curious okay. to see what you say. You follow just over 8,000 accounts, mm -hmm. which is a pretty good amount. Yeah. If you were to say, like, for any bookstagrammer out there, mm -hmm. what are the three bookstagram accounts they should absolutely be following right now? That's such a hard question. I know. Like you said, I follow over a thousand. First one would be Emily, Blue Eyed Biblio. Oh, yes. Yes, she's one of the OG bookstagrammers. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been following her for like over two years now. Second one would be Alexandra from Twirling Pages. Okay. Twirling Pages. I met her in real life, so I feel like oh, we're so friends. Cool. We're friends in real life, so I would definitely recommend following her. Um, and she also has the same aesthetic as me, so I feel like mm -hmm. people like that. And then last one would be Ariel Bissett. Ariel, Ariel said, because uh, I just met her recently and she's also a booktuber and she does a uh, book podcast. Yeah. So I'd recommend her. That must be so cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of having that experience with you right now where like mm -hmm. you follow someone for so long and you see them in like the digital space yeah. and then you meet them in real life and it's, it's like, oh my gosh, hi, yeah, you're it's, real. It's kind of like meeting a celebrity. Yeah. But it's different because we're book people. Yeah. yeah. You get to be nerdy about stuff mm -hmm. instead yeah, of like sure. gushing just, about movies or yeah. something like that. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Are you team hardcover or team paperback and why? Mm, all right, I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, so okay. I'm team hardback when it comes to like what you see on the shelves. Okay. I like seeing hard the spines, beautiful spines. Also when you let people borrow your hardback, you can take the dust jacket off Ooh, and then let them borrow okay. it. But when I'm reading, I do love a floppy paperback. The ones that yeah. just sit open and you don't have to like touch it or anything. That's sure. the best. I'm team paperback, team, just like, oh. yeah, yeah. Team paperback over here. I just feel like they're so easy to carry around and travel That's true. with. Okay, only, you're, I'm only team paperback if I have a book bow. The book bow okay. is like, they protect your books from mm -hmm. when you just put them in your bag and they get all torn up at the sides. Yeah. But yeah. you made a really good point I about know, the spine. Just, yeah, seeing the spine. Yeah. yeah, see like if I envision, for example, like Princess Belle's library. Mm -hmm. I feel like they They're would all, all hard be hard, yeah, yeah. hard covers. Yeah. They're more expensive, but yeah. and they look more like I don't know. They look more regal. They look more elegant. Yes, <laughs> elegant. Sure. That's yes. the word. <laughs> what is your go-to book recommendation? Like that one book that you're always telling people to read. Um, the one book I'd always recommend everyone who I come across, even though it's not YA, is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. It's like a historical fiction. The only reason why I'd recommend it is because, so the author is an alumni of my high school. So oh, so I, cool. So I met her and like interviewed her. Um, and I thought like in order to do that, I had to read the book. And I was just like, okay, I'm just reading this for the interview. But then I read it and I'm like, okay, this is like one of my favorite books of all time now. It's following like this, it's like a multi-generational story following okay. this Korean family living in Japan. Super good. I know it sounds like just like not what an average like YA reader, like you're consuming fantasy, but it's so good. It's like the characters are so good. The stories are so good. And the author is an amazing person. So also, yeah, that must be highly. so cool knowing like that they went to your high school. That must yeah. be so inspiring. I know. And I saw her at BookCon and she was doing an interview and I didn't want to bother her. So I just stood on the side like crying. Oh, I know. Like my so there was sweet. tears falling down my eyes and she saw me and she's just like, w but then she recognized me from the interview I did at the school. And then we like hugged it out there. And I have that photo of us and it's so nice. So yeah. you have like a celeb slash so author, author BFF. Crush. Yeah, author, yeah, that's my author crush. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one's random, okay. but I'm just, I'm dying to know. Mm -hmm. Would you ever dye your hair blue again? Yes, I would. So I bet you scroll down to like yes. the part of my feed that has my blue hair phase. Yes. Um, With the tips. Yeah. yeah. I, 
So I would definitely dye it blue. It's because right now I, I'm it's my hair's permed, so you okay. can't do double or else it's gonna your hair's your gonna hair's be, gonna yeah your hair's out. gonna fall out. I always like changing up styles. Like I had pink hair. Once. Did you really? Yeah, it was like a like a dark pink, okay. not as bright as yours, but I had mm -hmm. pink hair and I had purple, and then I tried blue, and blue's been my favorite, so I definitely want to yeah. go back. The only thing about blue hair is that like I don't my hair's straight, so then I have to curl it every day. Okay, and it's but I do love and the pictures that you can create with like your hair, and everyone yeah. just comments on your hair, like that's the only comment you get. You're like, <laughs> I love your hair. Your hair's so cute. Yeah. Another bookstagrammer yeah. tip: just dye, dye your hair. hair. <laughs> awesome. I think that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me, Alex. No problem. Had so <laughs> much fun. So, in case people don't know already, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Alexandria Ang. That's with a Y. <laughs> um, and then you can also find me on YouTube, uh, just at the Books Buzz. Yeah, I don't post anymore, but I have a lot of videos up, and I do want to get back into YouTube. Um, and then Twitter at I forgot my Twitter name. <laughs> do some investigative work. Go find her I Twitter. Forgot my Twitter name. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to follow me on Twitter. I don't tweet anything anyway. Fellow book nerds, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting Team Underlined. Please subscribe and follow at Get Underlined on Instagram. You guys are the best. Bye! Bye.